Good morning. Uh, thank you for the introduction, Ambassador Park, and uh, for hosting us here at the J Institute uh, for Advanced uh, Studies. It's, uh, it's a great honor to be here uh, together with you this morning. It is also great to be back in Seoul uh, and engage with uh, all of you. My last visit to the Republic of Korea was in 2017. And since then, uh, your country's partnership uh, with NATO has uh, grown even stronger. For years, we have cooperated uh, on issues ranging from counter-terrorism uh, to counter-piracy. And going forward, uh, we can do more together, uh, NATO and um, the Republic of Korea, including to strengthen um, our efforts uh, on global arms control, address um, disarmament and uh, non-proliferation, work on new uh, technologies, uh, enhance our cyber defenses, and uphold the rules-based international order. I welcome the fact that um, South Korea established a dedicated diplomatic mission to NATO last uh, November. And last June, I was honored to welcome President Yoon uh, to our NATO summit in Madrid. It was the first time ever uh, uh, he and the other leaders from the Indo-Pacific uh, uh, partners of NATO, Australia, Japan uh, and New Zealand participated together in a NATO summit, a real testimony uh, to our growing ties. We may be oceans apart, uh, but our security is, is closely connected. This has been the case for decades. Events in this region have shaped NATO as we know it today. The Korean War broke out just one year after the alliance was founded in 1949. It made uh, our members realize the need to bolster our defensive power. As a result of the Korean War, we transformed the North Atlantic Treaty into the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, literally putting an O uh, to, into NATO. This involved uh, creating the position of the Secretary General, standing up a permanent military uh, headquarters, and appointing uh, a Supreme Allied Commander in Europe. So NATO's history and uh, our security has long been uh, connected uh, with yours. And today we continue to share strategic interests and concerns. The threat posed by North Korea is one of them. North Korea constitutes, um, uh, continues its pattern of provocative and destabilizing behavior, including unprecedented missile tests over the past year, as well as uh, continued nuclear activity and rhetoric, all in contravention of UN Security Council resolutions. This poses a clear and present danger to the Republic of Korea, to the wider region, and to international peace and security. We stand with our partners in calling on Pyongyang uh, to stop its provocations and comply fully with international law. North Korea has also delivered rockets and missiles to the Russian Wagner Group further fueling Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. President Putin launched uh, his war almost one year ago to take control of the country and take away people's freedom. In response, NATO and NATO allies and our partners around the world, including South Korea, have condemned this illegal and unjustifiable war. And we have been providing Ukraine unprecedented assistance. Our support is making a real difference for the Ukrainians, helping them not only to survive, but also to push back uh, the Russian invader and uh, liberate their territory. We must keep supporting Ukraine for as long as it takes. Because if President Putin wins, the message to him and other authoritarian leaders will be that they can get what they want through the use of force. This would make the world 
more dangerous and us more vulnerable. So what happens in Europe matters to the Indo-Pacific. And what happens here in Asia matters to NATO. Our security is connected, so we must remain united and firm. Insist on full respect for the UN Charter and ensure oppression and tyranny do not prevail over freedom and democracy. You can count on NATO to stand with the Republic of Korea and other like-minded partners to promote peace, protect our shared security, and preserve a global system based on norms and values. Thank you, and then I'm ready to engage in a conversation with you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary General. We will now proceed to the Q&A session. This session will be moderated by Professor Che Sung Lee, Zhang Monet Chair in College of International Studies and former Dean of Graduate School of International Studies at Korea University.